In this video, I'm going to talk about the differences between the integration user and the old connector user in Pardot, also known as Marketing Cloud Account Engagement. Now, if you're doing an implementation yourself of Pardot, you've probably come across in the documentation some mentions of a connector user and an integration user. Or if you're in your Salesforce org, you might see two different permission sets, one for an integration user permission set and one for a connector user. And the differences between these can be a little bit tricky if you're not familiar with the history. So let's start with the integration user. I'm in Salesforce here. I'm looking at a list of users in this developer org. If I zoom in, you can see that one of them is called an integration user, integration B2BMA. Now this is the best way to connect Pardot to Salesforce. And for anybody who's purchased Pardot recently, it's the only way. This user was specially created by Salesforce to act as the bridge between the Salesforce database and the Pardot database. It doesn't cost you an extra user license or anything like that. And its only function is to connect those two systems. And so whatever this integration user can see within your Salesforce org, Pardot can potentially see as well. If you click into this integration user and scroll down, you'll see it has the Pardot integration user permission set. That's the one it needs because it's the integration user. Now in some orgs, you might also see under available permission sets, something that says Pardot connector user. That we don't need anymore because the connector user was how Pardot and Salesforce used to connect before they created this special integration user. And a connector user was an actual user in your system. It wasn't one that Salesforce made for you. It was probably you or somebody else within the company, or it was a brand new seat that you created just for this purpose of connecting the two systems. You would have to pay for that license from Salesforce. And then you take that person, that user, and you would give them the connector user permissions to make sure that Pardot could see all of the objects and things it needed to see from Salesforce. So first thing to know is you do not need to apply connector user permission sets to the integration user. The integration user permission set's gonna do that just fine for you. The other thing to know is that if you're in an older org, you might still have somebody who is serving as that connector user bridging those two systems. Luckily, Pardot has created a pathway for you to upgrade your system and get off of that old connector user, upgrade to their new version two connector, which is going to use an integration user. The reason why the integration user is just a better option than having an actual person be the connection. Number one, it's not costing you another license from Salesforce. And number two, it's dedicated. So its only function is to connect these two systems versus having a login for a person that is also serving as a bridge between these systems, that can be problematic because that person might leave the company or maybe you don't wanna give them all the access that you'd like Pardot to have, et cetera. So to summarize, the connector user was an actual user or a dedicated seat previously that would connect Pardot and Salesforce. The integration user is the newer and the best way to connect Pardot and Salesforce. It's a user record that's been created by Salesforce that doesn't cost you anything. And its sole purpose is to connect those two systems. So when you come across that in the documentation, just note when you purchase Pardot, if it was recently, you'll be set just using an integration user. If it's an older version, take a look at the documentation on how to upgrade from a connector to the newer, better integration option. Now, if you'd like additional help in getting your Pardot implementation completed, take a look at our DIY Pardot implementation course on our website at academy.rotive.io. Thanks for watching.